good to see and it's good to be seen. Headlight upgrades not only improve visibility dramatically at night, but they can be a huge safety feature at daytime because you are much more noticeable to car drivers. Let's look into various easy budget options up to around the $200 mark. Let's start with what should be your first step, an LED headlight bulb. We tested some five years ago and they were still crap, but today they have really hit the mark. We've had very good results with the Cyclops LED designed specifically for motorbikes. A few reasons we think it's good to start here because it looks legal. Rules vary between states and countries, but generally the more your bike looks stock, the less hassles with cops. LED, it's just plug and play. Simply pop out your old H4, tuck the new wiring away and off you go. No relays, dimmers, transformer modules or extra electronics. At two and a half thousand lumens, the Cyclops is much stronger than the stock lighting, but draws less than half at only 28 watts. The stock bulb draws 60 watts, so if you wanted, you can actually add an extra 30 watts of lighting just using your existing wiring. It has a fan to keep things cool. Any quality LED with a good output will run quite hot. The Cyclops comes with a fan to dramatically extend its lifespan. For $10, there's also an ultra version which keeps the low beam on when you switch to high beam, resulting in 5,000 lumens and a draw of 56 watts. We tend to advise against cheap LED headlight bulbs. They often don't last long and may not throw the light properly. For example, you may blind oncoming drivers even on low beam. Other cheap options, some manufacturers put out halogen bulbs with a 100 watt high beam and 90 watt low beam. However, this could overload the wiring on many bikes and not be very effective anyway if the stock wiring does not allow full draw. Next, ultra bright H4 bulbs. Some manufacturers such as Sylvania, Philips and Osram make premium halogen bulbs, claiming anything from a 30 to 100% increase in light. In our experience, they actually don't seem much brighter, although opting for a whiter light than the standard yellowish halogens does help. But we think it just makes sense to spend a bit more and go LED. Next, auxiliary lights. There are very expensive kits out there, but you can do it very cheaply too. For example, we spent just $30 for two 5 watt LED spotlights, wired them into the existing high beam for plenty of extra light. If you run something like the Cyclops H4 LED bulb, you can then mount two, say, 15 watt spotlights and use the stock wiring. This would provide a crazy amount of light. And there are plenty of options out there for auxiliary lights. You have light bars, you can opt for one or two spotlights, and with all, you can choose narrow or wide beams. After this, things start to get expensive or more complicated, <laughs> or both. You can replace the entire headlight unit or you can fit relays to safely allow a lot more current and really turn the night time into day with expensive auxiliary lighting. But we will leave that for another video. In the meantime, what has worked for you? Do you have further ideas for a budget setup? We are keen to hear your tips. Let us know and we'll put them in the pinned first comment on YouTube.